Right then, there's a quick walk around video for quite a special CRV in lots of ways. Um, this is a two litre EX automatic, one of the most desirable of all the CRVs. Uh, this is a 64 plate and it's covered just 35,000 miles from you. Um, it's also got a full Honda service history comprising 10 services. So it's been done on the every year, um, regardless of the mileage. And it is a lovely car, finishing this really lovely grey metallic and it's got the Again, very sought after um, ivory leather interior, which looks lovely. The car's very, very nice indeed. And here on the car for you, what as always do, front of the car, lights and lenses, nice and clearer. There's no cracks or condensation there. Bonnet, very clean indeed. Let's see my fingerprints. Can't see any obvious stone chips there. Coming down the near side, look at the door panels, look very good. Nice front alloy. Generally, very good condition for a near side one. Just the odd tiny little blemish. Um, panel work down there, very nice. Near side rear, as with the front there. Generally, very, very good for the age. Come around the back, and bumper corners, tailgate, all very clean. No skags or marks. Off side of the car, driver's side, again, very, very smooth down there. Side rear alloy, again, very good. Maybe panel work down the side, very nice, as is the final alloy. Again, just the odd mark on the outside of the edge, but nothing to write home about. Uh, but for the age of the car, it is in fabulous condition. Let's come into the boot area. Absolutely cavernous boots on the CRVs. They are family cars, so they can be quite heavily used, yet this one hasn't. It's been kept very nicely. Coming to the back now, loads of leg room in the back of the car. Front seats are set for me and I'm six foot tall. I've got plenty of room behind myself to sit. And you've got this gorgeous ivory leather, which always looks better in the flesh than it does in the videos, by the way. And again, like the boots, they can be heavily used in the back where the kids sit. It looks like kids have been banished from this one. Okay, front passenger side, again, very, very clean. Passenger seat again, in very good condition again. Finally coming in the driver's door card, really clean and tidy. Footwell areas likewise. Driver's seat again for the age of the car in remarkably good condition. So inside the car now, engine is running as is always the case, so the dash is illuminated. It looks pretty much like new, in honesty. Absolutely stunning in here. Um, sat nav, as you can see, working exactly as it should there. Pop the car into reverse, got that rear parking camera that complements the front and rear parking sensors down just be kept absolutely beautifully let's come to the main dash pinnacle hopefully you can see 35,518 miles engines running and there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all finally just to show you owner's manual pack and lock and roll nut key all here and present with the car right then this is a quick road test video and this is for a honda crv two liter ex automatic cars registered st24 ETX and mileage at the start of the road test is just 35,518. The reason we do all of our videos and especially this bit, the road test section, is just to ensure that if anyone's online looking at any of our cars, they get to see all of our cars actually in operation. Um, the reason we've always felt it important is because, like loads of people, we've been to see cars which have looked absolutely fine in a photograph or description. But then to get them find out when you drive it, it's got an obvious fault that shows up as soon as you drive along. Um, we also do it on these very quiet country roads. There's beautiful part of Gloucestershire, even on a dank, miserable day like today, it's lovely. Um, and this actually forms part of the road test route we take our customers on. And the hope is, of course, it will be representative of what you feel yourself should you go on a drive in the car. So coming to the car, um, as you know from the walk around section, this has been very well looked after, low mileage, full Honda history, and it drives like it, because it just drives absolutely beautifully. Um, push button start, engine starts instantly and settles to smooth, even idle. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all, relating to the engine or any other part of the car actually. And temperature gauge is running at a third, which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda vehicle. Um, as I always say, Honda build the best four-cylinder engines in the world. There's no two ways about it. Um, and that's the real world of motoring. They're renowned for being 
the most reliable and long-lasting engines in their class. Uh, they're timing chain driven, so there's no cam belts to worry about in them either. Um, but you know you're dealing with an engineering company when you put your foot down in the car, because you've got that lovely sweet edge to the engine note, beautifully manufactured. Um, they, they just put loads of sound deadening to make it quiet. They make the engine quiet in the first place. Um, but when you do put your foot down, you've got a sweet induction noise. You know, it's muted, it's there, but it's, it's easy on the ear. Uh, engine pulls beautifully and works very well with the automatic transmission. Um, the auto box, like the engine, has a reputation for being very tough and reliable. Um, it's also nice, slick, smooth shifting gearbox. Uh, they always are. And the ratios that Honda select for the car are to maximise the engine in terms of both performance and economy. It's obviously a compromise between the two. And they do a very good job of it, I have to say. Um, notwithstanding reputation for you know reliability, all automatics when you drive them used ones just make sure when you are driving them on test drive there isn't any sort of thuds or clunks as you're driving but almost more importantly when you're stationary and you put it into drive or reverse it doesn't go with a great clunk um, and in every single way this car is perfect in that sense then moving on to the steering and chassis which has always been an ace on the CRVs um, and sometimes completely overlooked by the motoring press who always do the same things because you get journalists who basically just want to drive Ferraris and Porsche they don't want to drive a CRV so they'll say oh it's a bit boring to drive well guess what it's a family SUV it's not exactly going to be the sort of car you're going to be ripping around a, um, on a track day around a race circuit but it drives brilliantly it's almost as you know, the achievement that Honda pulled off with this is on a par with my opinion with things like the Integra and the S2000 but a completely different way because what it's actually done is not exactly defy physics but pretty near to it um, the design criteria for this car is to get you and your family from A to B comfortably and it does it brilliantly the damping is fantastic but when you go through a corner like this it's just completely unflustered it flows the corners really nicely very good body control which is very hard to achieve on taller cars because um, lesser manufacturers will either go if they want to give you a comfortable ride like this one they have to go for a very soft setting and that means when you go through corners you get that horrible lurching effect um, or you go for something that gives you great, really good body control like this one but with very stiff springing and that means it's unyielding it's uncomfortable and that's where the, this car is genius in that sense. I think it's brilliantly done. Um, also, there's no clonks, rattles, anything from underneath the vehicle, all as tight as a drum. The car tracks dead straight. There's no vibrations from steering at this speed or actually any speed up to legal limit. Um, brakes as well are fantastic. Brake pedals, powerful, so hit the brakes. There's, it's powerful, but there's no um, pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal either which is a sign of disc wear uh, so it's all good in that sense um, the one thing that was noted on the last MOT which was done very recently um, was a bit of wear on the in, one of the edges on the tyres I think on the front which were um, so it's, when it, I finished doing this it's heading off to have two new tyres fitted on the front so that's going to be attended to um, then finally coming inside um, videos cannot get across of course build quality these are beautifully put together cars but not in a showy way Honda don't go for loads of soft squidgy plastics and heavy thunking sounding doors just to make it feel well built they go for real build quality something that's going to last as this one has for 10 years and still feel pretty much like new it, no, it's none of that creaking and horrible sort of resonating rattling of plastics um, it's also this is the perfect day to show off the interior which is what I always say about this interior I love this on the cars we've got a CRV which has got black interior which is perfectly nice by the way nothing against it but on dark miserable days this just brightens up the interior really nicely but the color, color contrast between it and the dashboard isn't garish it sits really nicely in the car um, and also on hot summer's days you don't get that burning inside the car from a full black interior um, as long as you keep you know a wet wipe in the car and a dry cloth so if you spill something wipe it then dry it straight away you can keep the um, interiors as nice as this one's been kept um, the other thing 
you notice when you get in a CRV is just how good the visibility is. You feel really comfortable on the move. Doesn't um, you know intimidate in any way. Um, you've got quite a low dash line, huge wing mirrors either side to help you with uh, manoeuvring and lane changing on the motorway or, other, um, or anything of that kind. Um, and a dash layout which even though it's very very well equipped this car isn't intimidating again in any way. Um, two or three days in the car you've mastered it. It's really simple. One of the nicest and easiest sat navs to use all working perfectly. Down below that a dual zone climate control system so you can have different temperatures side to side. That pumps out lovely cold air. We tried it in a nice warm workshop earlier today. As always if you just press any button or twist anything you get that lovely high quality feel from all the Honda controls. Uh, beautifully engineered. Uh, heated seats again all working. Dash binnacle in front, crisp white on black dials, minimalist by modern standards but all the better for it because you just take the information in instantly. Um, one button you will not find in a CRV of any type is a four-wheel drive button and this is a four-wheel drive CRV um, because Honda worked out that most people 99.9% .9 of the time will be driving as I am right now where you don't need four-wheel drive on so why put the car through the strain of running it um, so what it does is really simple the most efficient way to pull any modern car along is front wheel drive two-wheel drive and that's what this is running in right now should it need to go into four-wheel drive it will do so seamlessly and it's done via the traction control system so it can react far more quickly than you ever could yourself um, the advantages of the system are patently obvious. Um, you can use less fuel, get through your tyres less quickly, and it puts way less mechanical stress to the vehicle. You know, so much so that, as I always say, we've been selling, we've sold thousands of them over th nearly three decades, and I cannot re remember putting a spanner on any of them in terms of the four-wheel drive systems. So they are robust indeed. Um, the point of the video is literally just to show the car in operation, show it working, um, as I said, feedback on any issues that might show themselves, which is nothing whatsoever. These are very, very high quality machines, wonderfully well made. Um, and as I said, cannot fault it.